Welcome to another video of the series Live Project Implementation by Bharti DW Consultancy. In this video we are going to talk about the business layer and what we do in the business layer. Before that I'll just do a quick recap on what we have done till now in the framework manager. The framework manager we created a project and we imported these tables from the database. Then we created three namespaces, database layer, business layer, and presentation layer. We copied or moved, moved the tables we imported in the database layer. We then did the usage property for every column, setting it as identifier attribute or a fact depending on the nature of the column then we created joins between these these tables making it a star schema next step we are going to talk about the business layer in the business layer we can create calculations, filters, prompts, everything what can be used on reports. Also, we create this kind of model to isolate the database level changes from the reporting level. The business layer is the connector between the tables what we have in the database and the objects we use in the report studio or any other studio for reporting. This allows us to have minimal impact on the reporting if in case there is a change in the database. We'll talk about that very soon. Coming back to what we were discussing on the business layer, we are going to create model query subject model query subject right click business layer and create query subject show it to you again right click create query subject there are three types of query subject possible model data source and stored proc model query subject is what we create only in Cognos you can see it see them as a view or a or a very analogous to a view in the database a view is nothing but a set of sql statements on the table which are stored in the database the model query subject is also same or in the same lines build the query subject based on the data that exists in the model this data means the metadata So I'm going to build or create a model query subject. I'm going to create a model query subject for customers. So I'm going to say customer customers. That's about it. Click on OK. Please remember that every object in the business layer should be referring the database objects database layer objects so I'll open the database layer this is for the customers so I'm gonna go to the DCUS table the question is do I need customer ID for my reporting probably not because this is the surrogate key created by ETLs the extract transform and load mechanism so we don't need it we need customer code maybe yes name city country type and date of birth drag it and drop it onto the right side next on the top we have filters we'll see filters also determinants we'll talk about it later test and query information 
clicking on query information tab and then clicking on test sample it's gonna give me the query it's gonna generate for this query subject customers so this is the query you can see that customer ID is not included and I'll go to test click on test sample and you can see the data is being pulled click on OK and you have the customers but in the reporting world nobody is gonna understand CST underscore CD so we are gonna give them some business names I'm gonna select every column like this or I can do one column at a time so this is how you do one column at a time and I can select all the columns and just name them name them So I've named all the columns, give the, gave them business names. We can do the same for products. Right click, create query subject. I'm gonna say product. Again, from the database layer, I'm gonna bring all the columns I see can be used for reporting. I'm gonna rename all the columns product code product name type and category next I'm gonna create sales information I'm just typing in sales info you can talk to the business and business users and understand what name they would prefer to be on the query subject. I'm gonna not include any of these IDs, but I'm gonna include the date sale, date proc, or processed. I'm not include the ID, I'm not including the IDs, unit cost, unit price, and quantity whoops that was my bad so date sale date pro unit cost unit price and quantity I just drag and drop it on the right side and I'm again gonna rename the columns so I've renamed all the columns as sales date process date unit cost unit price and quantity So in the next video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to create a presentation layer and then create a package. We come back to the model again and add some calculations. Keep watching this series.